This is so weird. I haven't done this in so long. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Um, I'm not a professional at all. This is actually my first time doing making a bioactive enclosure, so we'll see how this goes. It's not a tutorial, I'm just showing you guys how I'm doing it and showing the results. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's get started. So I currently have my camera on my lamp and it's very doesn't look stable it might fall we're gonna pray it doesn't so first what we're gonna get started with are some clay balls the, the ones you use for like plants and we're gonna put that on the bottom for a drainage layer Okay, so it's not a very thick drainage layer, but it'll do. Um, now we're gonna put screen on top. We're gonna cut screen a little bit bigger than the size of this and put that on it so it can make a barrier between the substrate and the drainage layer because if we didn't, then the drainage layer would have no point because it would just mix together. Okay, so what I'm doing for substrate is um, I have one bag of Josh's Frogs bio bedding, the tropical one. And I'm gonna put that in there, but this is obviously not enough for this whole thing. So then I also have the Zilla Jungle Mix that I'm just gonna mix all this together. Um, and hopefully the cool like bacteria, the beneficial bacteria in this will mix around with this and grow and make this bioactive. <laughs> That's dusty. God damn. Okay, now we're gonna add some sphagnum moss. And we'll, it's dry right now, but we'll water it. Or mist it or whatever. And then I have the this one's like green sphagnum moss. So I have some water here and I'm putting some Repti Safe in it. And we're just gonna dump it in. I think we need even more because when we squeeze we don't get any drops so what we want is it not to be soaking and sopping wet but that when you squeeze it oh we get a few drops okay so everything's mixed in now I'm going to figure out where I want my cork to be. This piece I might just put like in the middle back. Ow. Just like that and then she can go behind that. Isopods and 
for some different textures. Um, then I have this hide that was just like a black plastic hide that I uh, siliconed with uh, aquarium safe silicone, some substrate and moss. Um, I'm gonna have that on this side. This is her warm side. This is her cool side. And this can work as one of the hides for the cool side as well. This is her water bowl. It's just like a little glass heart bowl. I'm gonna keep that in the middle. That's usually how I do it. And I have this hide, which I'm going to put in here. Uh, she'll grow out of it very soon. Oh, she m might even struggle to fit in there a little bit at the moment, but I'm gonna give it to her anyways. And now it's plant time. So we got a few options and I'm super excited. We got this beauty, which I got from Josh's Frogs as well. So I try to get as much of the soil off the roots as I could. Now let's pick some placement. I really like this plant, so I might put it like in the middle front. And then we have a beautiful fern. Okay, this one I struggled to get most of the soil off, but good enough. <laughs> okay, so I added a lot of plants. And now I'm going to add moss that I had soaking in some water. I already put some here. Now I'm just gonna put it all around the enclosure to help with humidity. Okay, so that's the moss. And now we're gonna add some leaf litter. more moss we have some mood moss from josh's frogs as well mood moss this stuff is pretty cool it's coming along it's looking pretty good i'm pretty proud it's not sticking. Wow, oh, I thought it was gonna stick. <laughs> oh, why won't it stay? <laughs> Please stick for me. Oh, I think I got it. There we go. so good. I like these little wandering Jews. It's such a fucking weird name for a plant, but they're so pretty on like they add such a pretty like pop of color I feel like of like purple. I'm gonna have to clean our water bowl because I got a whole bunch of stuff in it. I'm gonna show you guys a better view because I know you guys can't see the best. I would have had a better setup if I had my tripod with me. Focus, please. There we go. So this is what we got at the moment. So yeah, the camera's about to die, but this is what we got. This is very pretty. I'm gonna let everything grow in and let you know how it goes. Um, isopods haven't come in yet and I wanna culture them before I put them in. So this video won't be out anytime soon because I'm gonna uh, show you guys when that happens. So see you when that is, when, when my isopods and springtails are cultured and ready to go in. Hello, so it's been a while, it's been a few months uh, because I needed to culture my isopods before I put them in here. Well, I wanted to, I didn't need to. 
a lot of people just put them in there but yeah so we're gonna be putting Cuberus Marina marinas in there um, we're gonna do both like colors or morphs the regular morph the gray ones Cuberus Marinas um, and then we're also going to do the Cuberus Marina Papayas in there. And they're pretty good with humidity. Uh, so we'll see how they do. They should do good in here. Um, and I'm excited because I love the papayas. They're like adorable. They're pink. And it's like the only ice pod that I feel like is that color. So very cute. So they're doing that now. Finally. Because it's been a while and I haven't been able to post this video because... A bioactive needs, you know, the fauna. So, let's do that. I gotta go pick them out of the culture. Sorry the lighting isn't the best, but this is the enclosure at the moment. I added a few plants like this Alocasia Black Velvet that came from a bulb from my original plant. I added some creeping fig back there and this plant just popped up out of nowhere. I'm really confused about it, but I'm not complaining because it's beautiful. Added some baby tear baby tears I think I had a giant sheet of moss here and she loves it and I originally had it over this whole hide but she moved it this way and she likes to go under it as another hide over there so I left it um yeah pretty much so now let's add the isopods um just gonna dump them all in <laughs> <laughs> 